This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter, episode 616. Yes, the definitive Marvel continuity of wrestling podcasts. And uh, some of us are dressed for the occasion here. Uh, welcome to the Inf- Infinity War of Pro Wrestling, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Uh, we got a whole crew with us, first of all, and because he is representing out there uh, the 616 universe, it is uh, Marvelous Mad Mike from Pooh, Kipsy, New York. Actually, I am the Mad Titan Mike this week. Oh, uh, nice. I am representing with my Infinity Gauntlet oven mitt mm-hmm. that I did not use because <laughs> I heard it burns your hand. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? This is actually a defective product. That if you actually use it, it will it will skill the Wait, heat will just go right through Is there, there, is there like is there just hand. like a warning? Um warning, do not use to try to conquer the universe or take hot cookies out of the oven. Oh no, no, I can use this to conquer the universe. Oh, okay. I just I just can't use it to make quinoa. More importantly, did they make tiny finger digits for that oven mitten? Yes, they did. Why? <laughs> because I want to conquer the universe, damn it. <laughs> Anyways, also with us, he saw him there for a second. The Riz, who's getting ready to run his ass off here in a few uh, days. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. You guys can still donate, by the way. Um, yes, yeah, so the link is in our show right? notes. It will be in their show notes. Mm-hmm. It will be in our show notes. Uh, especially this week, if you guys donate a total of $100, I can get entered into a raffle that will negate all of my stuff that I have done if I won. Wait, what? Wait, what? I will win. What? what? I will win Chipotle a day. (laughs) The train is gone. You can't donate. For a year. Well, no. So donate don't to tell help me. I can't because I am running a thirteen point one mile marathon. Right, I yes. think you would Good just luck. have a different kind. <laughs> I think you would just have a different kind of runs then. That's true. Yeah, but I'm going That's to a lot do of that. Okay, <laughs> and, and also if you guys do donate and I do win, I may even take one of you out for lunch. Oh, Chipotle don't lunch. you threaten me? My yes. treats. Yes, because you have free Chipotle. It helps. Because it'll be because mine will be free. There you go. And yours won't. Go go do that. He's he's, he's participating in the uh this is Pittsburgh the, half mar uh, Dick Sporting Goods Pittsburgh half marathon. Get the branding in there. <laughs> yes, I have to because it's we're not sponsored by Dex. And but. you are, and I love you. You you pointed out that everybody has like really fit running pictures, yeah, yeah. and there's so you hugging Matt Carlin's as your. This is me hugging Matt. And this is me hugging mainstream Matt Carlin's. Actually, I, mean, I don't know. I pulled this up, and it's a picture of you with Wicket. Oh no! I just changed. I just changed that today. Okay. So now it's just me and Wicket. Like you're wearing a tie and holding my chihuahua. That was like what from three years ago? Yeah, probably. <laughs> But anyways, go go support him. He's doing very good. Which you're like the number two, I think, on your I'm team. I'm number two. Uh, yes. I'm the I'm the second one who finished uh, donations. So technically, I don't have to donate anymore. But it is for a good cause. It's for the Sports Matter program, mm-hmm. uh, which helps out the uh, youth program, youth sports programs in. Uh, in the country, uh, 27% of the nation's sports programs, youth sports programs, are in danger. So it's just helping out as much as we can. It's pretty bad. I used to, we used to fight for arts and music, and now we have to get back to exactly. like, fighting for sports programs. They're like, listen, if they're not getting fit in in in, uh, in high school, then how many of them are going to become pro wrestlers? Let's be realistic about this. Exactly. It helps and, all and of our causes. 
if there wasn't a new youth program, Kurt Angle wouldn't be a thing. Dolph Ziggler wouldn't be a thing. Uh, Elias. Elias wouldn't be a thing. Uh, so wow. it does help. Like yeah. every little bit helps the next superstar that's out there. There you go. And also, of course, producer. Executive, executive producer Larry. Executive producer. Executive co-executive producer Larry. We're in the middle of a hiring process. For we are. Producer. We are. Well, technically, the producers are also uh, some of our people on our our Patreon. Wait, too. did you guys get my did you guys get my uh, um uh, resume for that? Uh, no, I did not see the resume, Larry. Did you get it over there? I did no. not. No. All right, we'll have to check with HR. HR. <laughs> HR. Did we get that? That that is no. I, I, no. I, th- I thought I I thought I gave it to you, Larry. Did you? Did I, something I, happen to um, it on the on the way? Uh, it was windy and the tea. Oh took it. shit! <laughs> and also with us, sorry, our unfortunate unfortunate guest. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Lovis is joining us this week. Thank you so much for dealing with this and the tunnel closures in this city as well. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, can you pull the mic a little closer, actually? So, how are you doing? Uh, of course, we had an interview with you on the Indie Mayhem show for everybody to get introduced to you. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, kind of give yourself, you know, let the people uh, have a little bit of introduction. Who, who is Love- Laura Lovis? Laura Loveless is a female wrestler that usually wrestles in Ohio and Pennsylvania and West Virginia. Uh, but I branched out now into the North, uh, or I'm sorry, New Jersey, uh, Tennessee, and I'll be heading to Michigan in the next couple of months. Nice, yeah. nice. And of course, we were showing off, and, and I was, I, I'm glad I got to see it, at least on video. I don't think I've had a chance to see it in person at Rise Wrestling. Rise with a Y, by the way. Um, you got a pretty sweet wing. Yes. Like a light up wing uh, situation going on there. Because I am the Valkyrie Laura Loveless, and I have. Big ass light up wings. I like to make an entrance, and I built those by hand. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So uh, definitely, if you see her, check her out, and uh, and thank you for joining us. Sarah. We're going to be probably talking a lot of Saudi Arabia this week. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so that is a subject I'm completely unprepared or unprepared for. That's all right. Yeah, I don't know all the <laughs> socio and political. You know, you know what? Technically, I don't think any of us do either. We just know that there's going to be wrestling there, and we'll be running down the card for the Greatest <laughs> Royal Rumble. It's probably the biggest thing we'll be doing this week. But anyways, this is the uh, 616th edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show, uh, our, our Tuesday celebration of professional wrestling. And thank you so much, everybody, has been joining us on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page for the live stream. We do that every uh, Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Or whenever we do, sometimes we're talking about Legos and, and Marvel movies and, and something about batteries uh, when there's technology not working right. Thank you to Basic Sickness, basicsickness.com for our intro music for this and other fine podcasts on this network. WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find stuff. And also drop us a line if you have anything to say about uh, wrestling or uh, guests or anything else. You can ca- contact us at that email address. Good time! Good times at wrestling mayhem. I'm sorry, at sorgatronmedia.com or 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show. Hit us up on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group. A lot of great conversation has been going on there lately. And of course, thanks to our streaming partners at the 405media.com that's been carrying us midnight, seven days a week, uh, Eastern time, and that's 9 p.m. Pacific time if you guys want to catch up on the latest episode of wrestling mayhem show and of course subscribe in all those podcast places itunes Stitcher, Spreaker, iheart radio google play music and so many more wherever you like your podcast places also thank you to our patreon supporters they are like, we had our biggest month ever of patreon support and even just giving a dollar you, you guys won't miss it you barely see it in your bank account and and it, it it adds up with you guys literally helping keep the lights on here in the studio here at Sorgatron Media. Thank you to our friends at the fan of the show one dollar level. Bo diggity, woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F, J Town, Tina Keys, and the Matthew and Jennifer Carlos Foundation for Podcast Betterment. And at the Pocky Club five dollar level, you'll hear some talk about batteries. Mm. Occupy Pro Wrestling, Christopher Bishop, Mad Mike. Hmm. Nope. <laughs> I'm nope. waiting for something. Oh, no. Are you off? 
I, 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 I'm, I've canceled them. Oh, and well, that's okay because we got uh, Heel Bradley and Doc Remedy uh, supporting the show now, new uh, in this past month, and also at the Pizza Club ten dollar level, those guys get some uh, bonus extras, get a bigger say in the show. You guys are all our bosses for being part of the Patreon, but uh, even more so at the Pizza Club level is Billy Johnson and JD Jones out there. Again, you can support the show over at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show uh for that and we're going to be gearing up some new stuff and hopefully some new reasons for you guys to be a part of that here very very soon um so there is a little bit of a royal rumble a little bit of a throwdown going in saudi arabia and a little bit, a little bit. This is it's not called a little bit Royal Rumble, Sorg. It's you no, know, no, no. This is called a big ass sausage fest, Sorg. Uh, yeah. The greatest, the you greatest, the sausage greatest? fest ever. But this is in Saudi Arabia. I don't think they can have sausage. It's yeah, beef sausage. Oh, it's, it's is, beef sausage. Oh, wow. Beef sausage. There, is, there isn't even a good or pun chicken. for the chicken reason sausage. this shitty show exists. Oh, yeah, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. I'll tell you why the, why the shitty show exists because money. Yeah, like they already they WB already got paid. Yeah, so this is apparently so the <laughs> background on this. This is apparently a bot show. The princes are involved or of some sort, right? So it doesn't even matter if nobody showed up to this thing. But there's still like a giant arena. It's supposedly sold out already. It seats sixty thousand people, is, not counting the seats on the floor. Yeah, it, it's going to rival WrestleMania this year yeah. in attendance. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks after WrestleMania, that's crazy. That's insane. Um, but this might be a thing they end up doing every year. Gotcha. Uh, or several times a year, if you think about it. Now this is this is all gonna be still televised to it's an American televised. audience. It's gonna yes. be airing at noon on the network. Noon on the network. Uh, which is, because of the time difference. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's you know when Wrestle Kingdom's on at two in the morning, right? Um that was rough. Yeah, that was a little rough. But so noon, a lot of people are taking off Friday. We're watching it here in the studio. Uh, so we're gonna have some fun with that, but um, but yeah, it, it, the way they're booking this thing, oh, they want a fifty-man Royal Rumble. That's gonna be a long Royal Rumble. I mean, we've never we've we done forty that's, before. That's at least an hour and a half. Yeah, that's just, at least an hour and a half, and that's if you fudge the entrance times. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, they're booking like they're basically booking another WrestleMania with less lead up. This, this is just a kid playing with real people action figures. This is the paper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the pay per view That's mode. That's all it is. It, it, like that. It, it's a. I, I just hope the kid's a Rusev fan. That because I mean, <laughs> I'm assuming. I I do we think WWE is booking this or do you think they have directives like who's, who's like the winning prince, each match like like the, the prince's son is is actually booking this right no i'm i'm dead serious like this is a legitimate this is a legitimate question who you want to see i want to see john cena and triple h okay we'll yeah, make it happen I, honestly like i i think I think WWE might not actually be booking this. <laughs> so this right. is like somebody's dream match or dream matches. That's, That's pretty it. Pretty much That's what yeah. I'm thinking. Well, this, well, this is dangerously close to bordering on fan fiction at this point. It He's is. Start writing a storyline. Like if we we, if <laughs> well, we, we if, tune in Friday, if it was fan fiction, we'd have all three members of the of the Shield <laughs> in the three way, just making out. <laughs> if we we're going to tune in like like Friday, and turns out that the whole thing's like CG, right? <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's just it's just Thanos. Those uh, it's just the, <laughs> those holograms it's that they did, like, just controlling it. the Prince concert. Oh, uh, Michael, Jackson. Prince, uh, yeah, yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And Tupac. They're yeah. they're gonna be in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> Re- Freddie be... Mercury's gonna be there. <laughs> this is WrestleMania Coachella. <laughs> Matt says this is real life mayhem mania. <laughs> <laughs> it actually, it is. kind of is. Um, and, well, you know, we talk about you know, there's not gonna be uh much any female representation on this thing supposedly because it's saudi arabia there is some mm. rules in that country against these things happening I think you know we cool. talked about a little bit before show the dubai like we did have the first women's match ever there but abu dhabi you know, ab- freak ab- you were in dubai garfield. abu dhabi is the place the garfield place where normal yeah. goes the yeah. United so normal, i'm glad normal got to watch some wrestling and women's wrestling no less uh but but you know so there was a match and it was a pretty big groundbreaker and obviously like they had to cover up and everything because i mean those are the rules of the country right yeah Um, those those aren't just rules those are laws they're they're like religious laws too on top of things well religious laws are government laws yeah so 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 there's no difference you know it's a different 
Yeah. It's a different culture, right? Yeah. That while there are strides happening, they are not there yet. I'd be very surprised if there was a female on that show. Um, if the re- Renee Young's even there doing interviews, I don't. Right? I, no, she Renee can't. Young she can't do it. It's no. good. It's gonna be Tom Phillips and other yeah. Tom Phillips. Yes. <laughs> Well, so girls aren't even allowed to participate in like physical education in Saudi mm-hmm. Arabia because mm-hmm. they're it's just they're not to to and I don't know um, and I can't remember which country they were from because I know a lot of them were represented but there there was uh, people coming from uh, for an aero design competition that I was filming a few weeks ago and the women in the colleges can't cannot do any work on it until they get here. Yeah, like the, the, just to kind of give a, a context, like That's those are the, those are the kind of the rules. Like, yeah, they they can't participate in the design of it until they get here, you know. And a lot of times they'll come here and they have the designs and they build the thing when they get here because otherwise they have to import and everything too. So this is this is this is the you know, but WWE doing a show like this, other than you know, obviously the, it's money is the big motivator here. You know, maybe there will be opportunities like something like we saw in Abu Dhabi. I'm getting it right now. I hope. Uh, <laughs> um yeah. and uh you know so but still like you know it's, it's kind of interesting and and also seeing like i think you're gonna see more of this i can't remember if i talked about it on the show but you know we we class all the brands together right so we're down to like one pay-per-view a month i think so now that brings room for shows like this to happen you know, maybe they do these in Saudi Arabia. You know, this is supposed to be part of a 10 year deal, I think they said, with Saudi Arabia Jeez. that I was oh, reading. God, like, that's disgusting. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's disgusting. That's disgusting. No, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. Why, why is it disgusting? It. Because not everyone can get that payday. Not everyone who works for WWE can get that payday. Okay. Like that, it's just. I I don't want to get too political about it. But yeah, I, but I, it's it's dis- it's extremely disappointing mm-hmm. for a company who is pushing a women's revolution and evolution to just take a fucking cash grab mm-hmm. for something that their female employees can't even participate in. Mm-hmm. Sing it, sister. <laughs> like no, seriously, it's fucking disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. And honestly, if it wasn't like going to be replayed over and over again on SmackDown and Raw, where we basically would have watched the whole show anyway, I probably wouldn't even watch this thing. Matt Carlin chimes in. Here's hoping that we get Tyler Breeze in drag. On second thought, uh, I want him to come <laughs> yeah, back. Do yeah. that. No, 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 that, no, that, no, that, that's, do that. I believe that is under like law. Can he be beheaded for that? Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure yeah, he can yeah. be. I'm pretty sure Jericho almost got into a lot of trouble when he did something illicit with somebody's flag one time in oh. another country. I think maybe in uh, South America. JBL too. JBL. JBL yeah, yeah. Stuff. I can't uh, wait to see how many of them go to jail just because it's a dry country and there's not going to be. Any <laughs> oh, that's right. I can't have <laughs> And we were talking about last night. You know how much traveling they actually illustrated this on on uh, uh, like Michael Cole was talking about. Like we're worldwide. We were just in South Africa and we're here in what Minnesota or something. St. Louis. St. Louis. We're going back to this this Friday for this event in Saudi Arabia, and by the way, we're going to Montreal, Montreal <laughs> next week. We're multi and then, and then the UK tour, and then there's a UK tour. Like immediately like, afterwards, they, they, they talk about how like WrestleMania, yeah, it's the end of the season, but we start right back up the next day. Yeah, and we like kill everybody for the next month by traveling all around the world back and I, forth. I just, I just hope the the people that are on the show are getting a really, really good paycheck. I, I think they'd have to be at this point, mm-hmm. you know, because it's. I think it's going to be like WrestleMania to that point. That at least, at least the people involved will be a part of this, other than be part of a really big show. I mean, it's really. We'll see how it comes off, but I mean, it's already looking like it's going to be WrestleMania in that there's ten matches on this thing. Isn't Brock Lesnar supposed to be on this? Brock Lesnar is in a cage against Roman in a rematch from WrestleMania. Wow. Uh huh. I heard his payday for this is something that is insane. Like well, we, six hundred thousand. Know, I think he's it was. getting six hundred twenty-seven thousand per wrestling appearance. One hundred twenty-seven thousand. Oh, the numbers off the top of my head, I think, are close. Per TV appearance. Per t- TV. It's Just a about to round in the ring. Raw last talks. night. Plus an additional six hundred twenty-five thousand, six hundred twenty-seven thousand a year 
just for use of his likeness on WWE merchandise in addition to the 6% he gets off of sales. Oh, shit. So, yeah, yeah. I think he's going to hire somebody for that riding lawnmower now. He could hire a body double <laughs> just to go to the match. Maybe he has. Where are you going to find a body Lesnar double can that can convincingly look like Brock Lesnar? Maybe he can afford now to make his own clone. There you go. Yeah. He's not that smart. He shovels horse manure <laughs> in his free time. Because he enjoys it. Smart. He enjoys it. But uh, but anyways, yeah. So so let's go down the card a little bit here. Um, you know, there is that there is the cage match again, Roman and 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 Brock. So that's happening. Every title, every male title at least, is being defended here. I think seven title seven mm-hmm. title matches. Um, in addition to, and maybe this is our maybe this, our, our ladies' endorsement because really weird how this has happened. Lana, this is the headline on the on the page for the show. Lana endorses Rusev facing Undertaker in a casket match at the Greatest Forum. Because <laughs> additionally, it was announced. Then it got turned into Jericho versus Taker, and something about Lana did not approve of it. Well, was in the you, article. When- when Rusev, when it was first announced that Rusev was fighting Undertaker in a casket match, Rusev sent out a tweet that said, "Bury me, dead man." Like, and I think a lot of people may have may have gotten the wrong impression about that, so they uh, changed it to Jericho. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, but but I think then it was either either someone was like, "Hey, we need a higher higher profile guy for this," or. Knows, there is Jericho no higher profile guy. Than and said, I don't want to be in the yeah. casket match with Taker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we're getting Cena and Triple H, who will be in a match for the first time since 2018. Or, I'm sorry, 2010. This is 2018. <laughs> 2018. <laughs> that long ago. Wow. <laughs> yep, exactly. Um, uh, are we doing predictions or are we just running down the card? I, I, I don't know. It's I, like a house show. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know. It, I don't think it's a house show, Sorg. I think shit's going to happen on this. I don't know what the booking science is for this anymore. I think I Roman's don't winning. Either. You think, yeah. right, think it's going to happen? Yeah. I think Roman's winning yeah. because he doesn't have to pin Brock. No, he doesn't. I, th- yeah. I think I think uh, Road Dog swapped his magical dartboard out for lawn darts. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most random booking a little bit for a little any, bit right like, it's even like, like, it's like going house on, shows aren't this uh, crazy yeah is there is? it's like it, going on wwe uh, smackdown versus raw gm mode yeah and just hitting random for each and every match this <laughs> would help feed into the theory though that this is the card is being booked by somebody else so they're yeah. defending yeah. every championship and the people in the matches Aren't even on the same brands that the belts are being defended. Well, in. Yeah. well yeah, because we've had the superstar mix up. We have <laughs> even on Backlash, you have Roman against Samoa Joe, so, and they're on separate brands. It, it, this always happens when we do this shake up. It and totally like, negates the whole shake up. Oh yeah, and it negates like the call ups that happen right after WrestleMania. Yeah, oh, yeah. So like oh, we're yeah. just starting over oh, for okay. WrestleMania. They're all going to be again. in the Rumble because we need like, bodies. You know, by the way, we also Are brought, by the way, a? we're also putting in our general manager, Kurt Angle, into the Rumble. We're putting uh, Chris Jericho into the Rumble. Daniel because. Bryan. Daniel Shane Bryan, McMahon. of course. Shane McMahon. Is Shane in there, too? Yep, Shane's in there. Shane's, Shane's, in, there Shane's in there, too. Shane's in there, too. So, so why not? I mean, I, I mean, hell, I think Vince is going to make an appearance at this point. Oh, no. And acor- according to... That's, uh, that's, that's probably going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, right? According to Riz, the greatest Kali and the greatest Muda will the also greatest, be in there. No, the greatest Kali is in the match. He is. Oh, is so he? It, or, or there, or from what I heard, there is going to be a tag match with him and Jinder versus somebody. I'm not sure who. Well, Jinder's in a championship match. Oh, Jinder's in the championship match. He's, then, he's in the U.S. title that, match. That doesn't then, mean that, uh, that doesn't mean they're not going to get double duty. Moby, that means Great Kali will be put into the greatest oh. Royal Rumble. Oh, every, I assume everyone on this card has double duty. Oh yeah. Oh, every, oh yeah. Everyone, everyone in, on the card has to have double duty. Otherwise, everyone in WWE there's going to be a lot of jobbers in that battle royal. Everyone in WWE history will be behind that curtain. <laughs> Can you imagine how long <laughs> that Royal Rumble is going to take? From, yeah. If we learn anything from Reloaded, or yeah, that's going to be a lot of sitting in button. one corner and it, just taking just elbows. All back there waiting. It yeah. takes like an Bob hour. Bob back there doing squats. The <laughs> Muhammad Hassan has been waiting for his return. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Hornswoggle's oh. back there. 
Just, uh, just laying under the ring. <laughs> Maven is going to eliminate the Undertaker again. Oh no! Oh, come on. Now. Actually, uh, I have a question. Are there any more openly gay people on the roster anymore? Um. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. Maybe? How's that yes, going to so work are, if they're going to be thrown in well, that rubble? Well, luckily it's a woman, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, I, uh, Sonya Deville. Sonya Deville. I was blanking on her name, but okay. Sonya Deville is. Is that okay? I was wondering why she was holding that other girl's hand. Uh, oh God, what's her name? The blonde. Liv Morgan. Yeah, it. They like they looked really cute together, and they had wash, like matching white outfits. But they were like holding hands on the way to the elimination chamber. And I'm like, oh yeah. You know what? Are they shipping? I oh like that. no, 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 no. That wasn't Liv Morgan. That was the. That was that Mandy, Rose. Mandy Rose. Mandy Rose. Yeah. Well, they're Mandy in a fa- Rose, they're in a Mandy faction Rose. together too. It yeah. didn't matter. You just still don't but have to. I, I don't. Yeah. That was I, I kind of like I nodded at that. I'm like, oh, that was really cute. I like that. They held hands. That was really <laughs> sweet. Well, Pey- Peyton Royce and Billy Kay have been doing that for months in NXT, like, and they've never been clear cut on what their relationship is. Hmm. Besties. Yeah, I no, I know. Yeah, that, that's that's definitely one Best. way of it. That is definitely one interpretation. Right. But I was just thinking off the top of my head if there was anybody that was a male and heading on over. I think over. Darren Young was the only one, and he was let go a year ago. Yeah. 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 So, um, I, I don't think Finn is going to be wearing his rainbow trunk. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. no. No. No, no, no. So it's very I mean, touching. But it turns out Power Club's not for anyone, everyone anyway because he wouldn't allow the Mistraj to join. Aww. Aww. <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> we, broke Larry. we broke Larry over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you know what is for everyone, unless you have gluten allergies. Actually, I think they have a solution for that, too. Slice on Broadway, our good friends. We'll get back to the uh, Greatest Royal Rumble card in, in a little bit. We had a real Italian here um, last week in Mambo Italiano to uh, get, give us a promo about Slice on Broadway. And I actually went and translated in Google Translate to try to figure out what the hell he said. It was all positive um, that I could tell. Uh, but no, thank you to our friends at Slice on Broadway right here up the street here in the uh, Beachview neighborhood of uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Three more locations, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, as well as Carnegie and over in East Liberty. Uh, I love talking ch- wrestling with those guys when we pick up our, our pizza that we uh, feed our guests here on the Tuesday night podcast day. And really appreciate them being a part of uh, this podcast movement that we're doing here. Um, but uh, yeah, do uh, even for those that kick the doors down, says Dave Potter. No, don't not don't kick, kick the, the doors door. down. Don't, don't do that. You have no. to kick the door in. No, Gently don't kick the door open at all, it. It's glass. It's just, yes, it's usually glass. And you want to hurt your foot. And sometimes it's closed to the outside if there's a game and PNC Park, so it might mm-hmm. not be open to you. Um, so. Anyway, I mean, if you do if you do kick it, just be careful and just like tap it. Don't, yeah, don't, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ease don't into use it. All your force into the but kick. the point is, perfect. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, our friends, uh, perfect podcasting pepperoni uh, pizza. Say, in Pittsburgh. Thank you for supporting Pittsburgh co- pa- podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. <laughs> slice on Broadway.com, PGH underscore slice on the Twitter. Let them know the Mayhem Show sent you. All right, let's get back to this. Oh my God, card for this weekend. Um, uh, JD Jones had a really interesting comment in the chat. Uh, he said, I wonder how they'll react to gold dust. He may come out as Dustin Rhodes. Oh, Rose. that's such a good point. Oh, and I, hold on. I, yeah. I just had it listed. Where did and I go? wonder um, Fandango as oh. well, because he what? can come off slightly. Uh, fashion <laughs> files. Yeah, I know, but. That, something tells me that those skits would not translate well there. <laughs> they might not. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, there's not going to be a lot of that, I think. But but so uh, Goldust is listed on the page of the few people that are listed. And these are the likes of Sin Cara, The New Day, Bobby Roode, Elias, uh, Titus, uh, Titus O'Neil, Chad Gable, uh, Mojo Raleigh, Zalt Ziggler. So, I mean, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, uh, obviously they'll be doing something, right? But yeah, Goldust is... A part of that, yeah. I mean, it, it's That's gonna be weird. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, I just, I'm just really curious to see how some of this uh, kind of pulls off. So, Shinsuke have new entrance music? Oh no, Shinsuke oh, has new entrance oh, music. I don't know no. if the music's. I don't think the music's new, or is it just the video? Maybe it's there's a video somebody singing on it. Mm. 
But there is, a, and on top of that, and we'll get to I the rest of it. It's just something kicking balls. It, on, on, <laughs> on top of that, they, there's already representatives there. They're doing tryouts. They're trying to get, uh, you know, more people. He did get new entrance music. From the, yeah. It's like a remix of his old stuff. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Interesting. They're trying to make it less sing alongable, so uh, everybody's not still cheering them on, maybe? Yeah. No, That's a good are, idea. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, um, but anyways, uh, the baby's already there. They're doing tryouts in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Um, and, and, uh, I mean, I really think that they're going to keep doing this. I think you're going to see a show like this. Maybe we'll do something in the UK more than what we do with Raw and SmackDown, you know, a couple times a year, right? Maybe we'll... Well, they're doing the UK tournament. They're doing the that's tournament a again. King of the Ring ma- uh, tournament. Yeah. So that's becoming a bigger event, Right. Um, I don't know if they have the opportunities everywhere. I mean, even when they did India, that was a giant arena that they did uh, Triple H and, and Gender. Yeah, like, those but... shows are already happening. And to yeah. they've dipped their toe in the water with the MSG shows, with the Japan show, with Brock Lesnar on it. Um, so, I mean, those were a little bit, what can we do here between logistics and will people be receptive to them, especially the weird times of day. Like, I, I think the way they reformat the pay-per-views, you're going to start seeing... Maybe quarter. We're seeing more roadblocks. Yeah, qu- roadblocks. Oh, God. Why? Road. That's exactly what the guy at Slice on Broadway said to me when I was talking to him about this earlier oh, tonight. This one is a huge roadblock. This one is a huge fucking roadblock. I'll say that. <laughs> the like, biggest we're roadblock gonna see, ever. We're gonna start seeing roadblocks in your houses. Yeah, stuff oh, like that. Yeah. that just we're just gonna make... start. We're just gonna start naming pay per views after failed WCW gimmicks. They're gonna be glorified. Um, house shows we're gonna mm. have one in siberia called ice train <laughs> we're gonna have one we're gonna have one in south africa called chaos but sailed k-a-o-s it's gonna it's gonna be just a lot of failed wcw gimmicks we're gonna have one in amsterdam called disco inferno it's oh, gonna be that was not guys. failed you shut your mouth uh, no 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 trust me look at it now look at him now inferno. that's a failed gimmick <laughs> Nowadays, that is a failed in the 90s. That was was still he had a move called the chart buster when we weren't even looking at the charts anymore. Exactly. (laughs) Bobby said he can't wait for Mortis and Wrath. I'm very excited about those too. Those are gonna be great pay per views. Uh, Justin's saying, Justin's in here saying that he'd he'd love to see how Saudi Arabia reacts to Joey Ryan if he ever wrestled there. Joey Joey Ryan Ryan would not be allowed. No, no. No, no. no. Jo- Joey Ryan. I don't know if you listen to the show. I don't believe you do. Please never go to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> it would. I, I enjoy seeing you wrestle and healthy. I do not go there. I'm sure there's a set of rules for this. We are getting AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura in a rematch. Um, oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's I'm happening. okay. I, I'm I'm in fight forever mode for these I, guys. I I think the title could change there too. Yeah. I, I seriously think there's going to be a lot of shit that happens at this show because they paid so much money for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They, 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 they can't uh, Saturday night main event this. They can't, you know, really nope. kind of, you know. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if some stuff was changed from WrestleMania mm-hmm. so that it could happen at this show. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jinder Mahal, United States title, uh, uh, trying to get it from Jeff Hardy. Again, we have the titles kind of bouncing around because of the uh, uh, shakeup. So, so this is gonna kind of, you know, see where things land. Oh. I guess. That's that's that changing hands too. Yeah, yeah. You think that's going to happen? Um, mm-hmm. We have a four-way ladder match for the Intercontinental Title that involves um, the Miz. Uh, and I don't see a title thing for it. No, that's a tag title. Uh, Miz, uh, Rollins, Mi- Miz Rollins, Joe. Balor, and and Samoa Joe. Yep. So and Miz is gonna get that belt back. You think Miz is gonna get that Bad back? News. Bring it over. And- Every title is going to change Zach, hands on this. Every, every title is going to change hands. I. Uh, Zach Ryder. You know what the is, weird part uh, is? Well, Larry, it was, you got breaking news from uh, SmackDown. No, it's not SmackDown. Uh, Zach Ryder suffered a knee injury during a main event taping, uh, oh, and is not going to be in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> oh no! He's going to Orlando. Oh no! He's going to Orlando <laughs> for an MRI. He's going to Disney oh. World with Chelsea I'm, Green. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to <laughs> him. He's just gonna be time. playing with toys with Chelsea Green for the hey, next. Chelsea Green's all in. This is his second yeah, knee that's injury. That's right. That's right. His second knee injury. Yeah, because he was out for like a year. Jeez. But, yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. We might be seeing him in Ring of Honor soon. I want to see a lot more Instagrams from that guy. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, a lot more Funko Pops. A lot more Funko Pops. I think he just injured his knee so he could go see Infinity War instead of going to Saudi Arabia. Oh. Yeah, it's very possible. That is very possible. But they're oh, probably showing true. it in Saudi Arabia, too. I don't think Little they would. Convenient. You don't think so? No. They showed X-Men Apocalypse in Dubai. He probably bought those tickets in advance, too. <laughs> they, cens- they censored a lot of it, but <laughs> yeah, they yeah. just mute the stuff they don't want you to hear. Okay. Yeah, especially since it was kind of a highly religious... Yeah, it's uh, stuff about the Four Horsemen. Yeah, yeah, when we got to Apocalypse, yeah. Uh, Raw tag team title is being, uh, well, I guess decided since uh, poor little Nicholas um, has fourth grade. Um, although weird because it's the Raw tag titles and the bar is involved who now got kicked over to SmackDown. Hmm. So... Eh. <laughs> All right. Sure. Okay. Okay. I think it'll be fun. And, and and Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy have been a lot of fun to watch. And you know what? Uh, seeing the uh, torch of bitter rivals forming a tag team uh, being passed on that night will be awesome. That's kind of the that's... bar and, and, you know, started off as people who hated each other, forming a, a strong bond. And now it's their turn to pass the the baton pass the torch to pass pass the bar yes so they can rise above it yes and I, i'm sorry, a lot I, of puns, I love yeah. i actually like this tag team Bray like, I, looks so happy yeah he does he looks so happy he like you can just tell that look that like i can win matches again because <laughs> he can finally win feuds that you know, mean something that that the match they had on Monday night with Ascension, who by the way are now on Raw, if you didn't notice, um, where uh, uh, Connor or Victor? Wait, I think it was Victor. I think I've been saying the wrong Vic- one. Victor did the this cartwheel. Well. Victor did yeah. the cartwheel. That was wonderful. And they had, and it was wonderful. Like was that, wonderful. that was that was fun. And and I kind of want them to be their lackeys, right? In a new and, like... and Matt Hardy just yelling climax. <laughs> what? <laughs> I missed that part. Oh, oh wait, what? <laughs> yeah, no, no. When when um, Bray does that, like the reverse head thing, like he's going to do like a spider walk. Yeah. Um, like he goes, oh, climax, and it's like really <laughs> weird, and it's like out of nowhere. It's like why. Uh, that? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not no, gonna you, make a joke. I was gonna make. I'm just no, gonna let that no. slide. What were you gonna you're, say, you're Mike? Right. No, no Mike, I'm just gonna Mike, let that slide. No, nope. no. You know what? You're right. Just, just yeah. putting it out there. Whatever you were gonna say, you're right. <laughs> I okay. am. I am looking forward to Matt Hardy getting Royal Rumble advice from a Campbell on Friday. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. I'll be ready to support. I thought he has a camel on the compound. No, that's a giraffe, that's a giraffe. George Washington. That's a giraffe. I thought he had a no. I thought he had a camel too. Yeah, I yeah. thought I have. Seen, I have not seen. I know there. The I know there is a giraffe. I know there's a kangaroo. I thought there was also a camel. Is there a Wikipedia for this? Like, is there a, like, yes, a there is. animals on the right Hardy now. compound? Going, they're not Keep animals. I'm looking they're people. It up. Um, uh, reincarnated souls on the Hardy compound Wikipedia page. Let me look at this here. Referencing Death of Impact Wrestling. No, now everybody's walking, looking at Wikipedia. Yeah, we're all looking. All Party right. compounds. Well, and they, well, that's kind of funny. Uh, they, we also have SmackDown Tag Team Championships, uh, Bludgeon Brothers, and the Usos uh, happening as well. But you probably wouldn't have noticed. And a cruiserweight championship. Match. And a, and a we have a, uh, who? That's going to be determined on Two Hundred Five Live tonight. Okay, because Buddy a, Murphy, match. Buddy Murphy didn't make weight didn't or make weight. doesn't have a green card for from Australia to go there. I don't know. Really? Maybe. I don't know. It, it, it could be a travel issue. It seriously How could be. How is Jeff Hardy able to go there? <laughs> Why wouldn't Jeff? <laughs> Why wouldn't he be able to go there? He's had multiple drug Drugs. issues, um, Drugs. and arrests, including a recent DUI. He won't have problems with that. In Saudi but, you know, as long as they don't have, a pro- they're not blocking his passport or something. So oh. basically, Jeff Hardy don't do anything. Oh, that's stupid right. They the might have couple days because he w- he was arrested for like drug trafficking. Oh. When they found all that stuff in oh. his house, like when he was with TNA, mm-hmm. like shortly after he had left WWE, um, you know, he left his, cha- you know, uh, dropping the championship and everything to CM Punk. And then like weeks later, they raided his house and brought him up on trafficking because he had so much stuff. Please tell me they found the drugs in the giraffe's pen. 
That's before that, you know. I do not, and uh, I do not see any camels in the Hardy compound, unfortunately. No. I see a jaguar. I see a giraffe. Wait, where are you? Is there seriously a Wikipedia page for this? Is there a Wikipedia? Fightful. Revisited a tour through Broken Matt Hardy's exotic menagerie of reincarnated <laughs> historical luminaries. Wow. Oh, thank you, uh, Internet. That's a great place sometimes. If this was 10 years ago, this would be a wrestle crap article. Uh, so there is a clouded. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 no. Please go on. There is a clouded leopard named Cleo. Um, mm-hmm. Cleopatra. Um, Manny the Mandrill is Mahatma Gandhi. <laughs> Of course, of course, of course. Um, there's a porcupine named Porky. I'm not of sure. Course. Um, she also contains the soul of Sir Winston Churchill, but mm-hmm. that's a little difficult because that's a man. So I'm not sure why it would be in the whatever. Doesn't matter. I think I think reincarnation's uh, intergender. You know or what? Transgender or whatever. <laughs> we'll go proper, with that. What are the proper word that goes gender with that? Is, gender is fluid in reincarnation. Yes, that's, fair enough. Yeah. I think that's appropriate. Rocky yeah. the Flying Squirrel is Sir Isaac Newton. Mm-hmm. Andy, a giant Gravity. anteater, uh, is Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> um, Notoriously a... loved ants. Yes. Notoriously. A uh, raccoon named Pinky is Leopold II of Belgium. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who forced labor pro- policies led to the deaths of over 3 million people in the Congo. Just to throw that small factoid in there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, there's this is a, amazing. a red panda named Pamela, um, who loves to hug, who is the reincarnation of Joseph Stalin. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh-huh. Where is more like listen. more like Stalin glad? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's Ollie the sea otter, um, who is playful and loves to eat clams, and who is the reincarnation of Attila the Hun. <laughs> 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 There's a fennec fox named Freddy, who is a reincarnation of Roman Emperor Caligula. Oh my. <laughs> There's a proboscis monkey named Paul, who is Abner Doubleday. Or, yeah, that's, <laughs> yes. Did I pronounce uh, that correctly? Yes, yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. Wombat, or the Wally the Wombat, who is actually Genghis Khan. Uh, wow. That makes sense. Girenik, or there, I can't pronounce this. Uh, Girenik. Antelope, which is named Greta, which is Vad the Impaler. Um, and then there is a Cape Horn Buffalo who is Wilt Charing Balin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and his best friend is a bird named Groucho Marx. And that's all. Of course. Of course it's Groucho Marx. Yes. Wow. Wow. Oh, so so this idea, uh, you know, obviously uh, WWE is doing great things with the comic books. Mike, you and I have been reading those. I need to catch up, by the way. Um, yes. so I might be get, doing a visit to the Amazon <laughs> Kindle, uh, for that very soon. Uh, and, and we know a friend of the show, Mike Kingston, uh, well known for the headlock comic books has been, uh, involved in that as well with Boom Studios. Um, uh, Mike, if you're out there, I know you listen to the show. Um, uh, please get with WWE and help us with a broken universe comic book. <laughs> Because I, I kind of I just want Matt Hardy to do the sequel of We Bought a Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> that can be the book, as far as I'm concerned. Yes. That's okay. okay. I get the, the backstory stuff like it has been amazing on that. Is like can it you know, can we please dive into this? You know, we'll just replace all Matt Damon scenes with Matt Hardy. I mean, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Why Wonderful. Not? Can there be an animal uprising where one tries to rule over the rest? I like think Stalin. I think you have to. Yeah. yeah. And then Matt Hardy what, can battle Stalin, that Stalin animal. Won't, Stalin, he's a what? A panda? Yeah. It's well, a. It's there, a shoot. there was one. There was one part in Impact where uh, Jeff Hardy actually had boxing training with a kangaroo. Yeah. There you go. Stal- Stal- Stalin, Stalin won't Jeff share Brady. any of the bamboo yeah. shoots with yeah. anyone else. It's a red panda, so it's tiny, but I, I bet it's pretty ferocious. So yeah. But adorable. I, I, you know, he's just gonna walk up to it, punch it in the face, and it's gonna die. <laughs> oh my god! Sorry. They're endangered. No, I shouldn't say no. that. I don't think they're endangered. This is honestly better than me getting so. angry about Saudi Arabia. We have one in the Pittsburgh Zoo. They can't be that endangered. Uh, I'm gonna check. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
but anyway, so uh, we're going to learn about uh, Saudi Arabia culture and how what it's going to affect to our wrestling here on Friday afternoon. They are endangered. <laughs> and Damn we've it. learned about endangered animals on this show. So welcome to um, our pilot for PBS edition of this show. Uh, <laughs> so we <laughs> have we to keep Stalin alive. Royal Rumble. What's that? <laughs> What do we think is winning the actual Royal Rumble? There's like Great 50. Calling. Barry Corbin. It, oh. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Oh, you need oh, something. Wow. They made one of those packages for something. Here, here's the thing. It doesn't mean anything. They got a yeah, sweet trophy. Just, yeah. win a trophy. They got a sweet trophy that doesn't look like a male organ, so there's a victory <laughs> there. And, and you know what? You know who, how, who else I'm, had, met at a, a trophy like that? Yeah. Cesaro. Big show. Yeah, Baron Corbin and Mojo Rawley. Mm. Nobody cares. No, I mean this trophy is like, a lot shinier than that Andre the Giant trophy. I, I, you know, I'm with whoever. I, wherever I heard this, like every time a trophy is presented and it doesn't get destroyed by uh, by Bret Hart and Bad News Brown, like I feel like something's wrong in pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. Like, like that's my. You have no idea what I'm talking about. I know who Bret Hart is. <laughs> you know who Bret Hart is. Okay. Yeah. Well, we What's sorry, sir. We, fo we followed. We followed. Okay. The rest of you got me. Okay. But anyways, uh, it'll be interesting. Um, <laughs> Alex Miller says, Kurt Hawkins, please. <laughs> Kurt Hawkins. Oh he my can God, only please. win in Saudi Arabia. Well, now that now please that front Kurt runner Zach, Zach Ryder is out of it. There you go. There you go. Yeah, there goes your there goes everybody's choice. There. I mean, that you was know, my choice. please not a John Cena. I'd be okay with a Chris Jericho. He's due for a pity victory. Who, John Cena? No. Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder. Mm. Yeah, he had his intercontinental yeah, title yeah, at yeah, Royal Rumble moment. two years now ago. Now he had a Saudi wow. Arabia moment, you know. You know, and it's the other thing. We don't know which wrestlers are popular in Saudi Arabia, or Greg maybe Ali. we do because of how this was booked by the by the twelve year old son of a Greg prince. Ali. <laughs> Kali is there. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, relations I, are good with India. Why. So I think Rollins, Rollins is winning it. Rollins, okay. Yeah. He's in the uh, ladder match. Doesn't mean he's not going to be in there. They're they're all doing double duty. I'll guarantee it. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that too. Be, so. 50, 50 men, you have to. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. Uh, we'll be a lot of tweets around that. We'll have, I'm sure, a lot to say. Maybe we'll do a wrap-up show after that, that wraps as well. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see I think happens. Bobby Lashley's going to win it. Ooh. Bobby Lashley teaming with Strowman. Is a downgrade for Strowman. Oh. There it is. <laughs> he, was there it his, is. he was holding his finger up a moment. Yep. I was waiting for my, uh, Mike's reaction. Sorry. That's right. the only reason I said Well, that. anyways, talking wrestling, we're going to be back with the big question. Of course, Laura Love is joining us here, doing some big things. You just, you just uh, had a match at uh, OCW this past weekend, yes. right? Yep. Unfortunately, I, I saw it did not go well, according to the pictures I was seeing on the internet. <laughs> You know, yeah, no, it, it, I lost my title. So. Mm -hmm. It was actually OCW's anniversary show. Mm -hmm. I've held the title now, I think, at least six months. Um, it was a good match. I really enjoyed it. Uh, Katie Arquette took my title. Oh, no. Of course. Friend of the show, Katie Arquette as well. Yes. Uh, she was in the tournament, actually. Uh, that was when we had our women's tournament. And I have basically had a match with everybody from that tournament. Um and I'm glad that Katie was the one who took it. Mm -hmm. But uh, that means that possibly a rematch is going to be in the future. So she better watch herself. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Uh, we'll be, uh, and of course, Larry, yep. Mad Mike, and the Riz, executive yes. producer Larry. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back with a big question right after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. You could just say, which wrestler would make the best person to punch Thanos in the face? Strowman. Yeah, I was about to say. There you go. That was easy. Or Bobby Lashley. But anyways, oh. there is the... Yeah, Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Bobby Lashley's like his like wrestling version of Hatchimals. <laughs> I was going to say Batista, but... <laughs> Batista? Really? Yeah. Over Lashley? Drax. Yeah. Drax. Oh, you mean Drax. okay. You mean I got Drax. you. Drax. He's right. actually probably going to try and punch Thanos. In the face. Yeah, that's probably going to happen at some point here. So I there, think he's going to arm wrestle the Hulk. There, there is a crossover here. Oh, that'd be good. Oh, man. He hasn't encountered a Hulk yet. That'd be good. They're going to have a joke contest. And really, isn't Infinity War kind of the like, like 
you know, superstar shakeup of the Marvel Universe. Oh, Alex guys. Miller says Mil Muerte should punch Thanos in the face, and I'm entirely on board for that. Damn yeah, it, yeah. now I want to see an Avengers and Lucha Underground crossover. Mil Muertes, Mil Muertes is taking indie bookings. Is he really? Good for him. I, I, I feel like he just had not been as Mil Muertes until now, for whatever reason. Like, he, like he was his other character. Out, without, out without a mask? Without a mask, yeah. He has another character without a mask. Um, there's this thing that happened on MTV where he fought Vampiro in a in a <gasps> uh, piranhas match. Oh, is that the same? Oh, the piranhas. Oh. Yeah, I gotta show you that. Is that Fight Society? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. Fight no. Society's in McKeesport. No. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was the thing? Wrestling, uh, it was wrestling w- Society X. Wrestling was, Society X. Yeah. I understand the confusion. Um, the only but, the only good thing that ever come out of Wrestling Society X was Matt Classic. Matt Classic, I believe uh, Seth Rollins and yeah, uh, he was Tyler Black. Jimmy, too. yeah, Tyler Black, yeah. uh, and mm-hmm. maybe team oh. with J- Jimmy Jacobs at the time. Yeah, uh, greatest yeah. thing to ever come out of Wrestling Society X was Matt Classic. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. But anyways, you know, with all this going on, and we were talking about how Nakamura's got new music. I think we broke that here on the show earlier. Um, so there was a good question that got brought up. Was that was that you, Mike, that brought that up about yeah. music? So, yeah. w- what is the big question? Uh, well, the big question is, uh, see, we, we talked about it very briefly, but Nakamura got his entrance changed so that people don't sing along to it because he's a bad guy that punches people in the dick now. Well, and so, he doesn't speak English. That's been his well, whole thing. Of course he doesn't speak English. What? No, he doesn't speak Spanish either. Uh, he might. I don't know that. No, no, he, he said no hablo espanol. So, um... <laughs> I unplugged my headphones. What did he say? He said no habla es- es- espanol. <laughs> so uh, the big question is, which WWE superstar is in dire need of a theme song change? Hmm. Hmm. I'll go first. Okay. Dolph Ziggler. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. I'm tired no. of you trying to show the world. Well, wasn't he with the red? Record scratch. Yeah, yeah. Now it's the record. The record well, it's a silence, but then it goes into the old music. So it's just like, what are we even? Yeah. Doing if it here? was just a record scratch into silence, yeah, I think I'd be okay with that. Champa did it better. Oh, mm, no, Champa yeah. did it Ciampa, way better. Champa did it much better. But you can't really have Dolph Ziggler come out and raw to everyone saying "fuck you, Champa." So I don't. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, you can could. You, it really work. I mean, uh, I, Champa wouldn't have a problem with it. I think he would have a problem yeah. with it. I, mean, I don't think you so. know what. If you pulled it off, I think he wouldn't have a problem with it. Be like, wow, that was impressive. I didn't think you, anybody could do that. Um, you know, Can you imagine conversion. how fast he'd be on Raw if they started doing that to Ziggler? No, 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 yeah. because because it would get beeped every week on USA no, Network. They, they tape over the crowd <laughs> reactions, anyways. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Anyways. <laughs> Um, but no, yeah, 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 very much uh, Dolph Ziggler, I think. So, anyone else have one? Okay, I got one. Okay, right, okay. Go ahead, Riz. Uh, seeing how he's like everywhere, trying to butt in, into every single match, and seeing how his private life is now, you know, kind of weird, weird in this situation. Uh, John Cena needs to change his song from uh, "Time Is Now" to. Bad, bad man. I like it. Okay. It fits perfectly with what he's doing right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Being I like it a lot. Douche. I dig it. I have one. Yeah, and Brandon, he, Brandon, he hasn't had the same. Brandon oh, oh, also oh, oh, said oh, Cena. Yeah. Brandon also said Cena, but he hasn't had the same music since he debuted. First, no, he, he has not. Th- yeah, he had basic thugonomics first. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, life. Uh, it's kind of like once you get to that point where you, you know, you've had it for so long, it's really ingrained. It's like you know Hulk Hogan changing the the, the you know Amer- real American music mm. is weird. Yeah. You know, at least in WWE. T- Tina has a list. I, I know. I want to get to okay. those in a moment. Right. But Larry, you had one. Yeah, Ronda Rousey. Oh yeah. Her yeah. music needs to go away forever. Yeah, there's something That's about kinda, it. she's the most dangerous woman in the world. She's coming out to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to, to, to the power walk, you know. Yeah. And, and no, she's coming out to what Julia Stiles came out to in 10 Things I Hate About You. Mm-hmm. That's true. Wow, that, wow. Was, that was an interesting wow. pull. That's true. Yeah. That was deep. That was, that was a, a, it's a deep pull, but like that's basically what Ronda Rowdy is. She's Julia Stiles from 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh, my like, God. With, 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 right? 
Oh my god, they do. With a tilted kilt costume. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> With a tilted kilt costume. She does not god. provide bottle service, don't bother asking. <laughs> Oh jeez. Um well, Levis, do you I, have one? I, I have, oh, I, I have oh, one. Mad Mike has go, one. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh Roman Reigns. Yeah. yeah. Let the Roman shield the die, shield. man. The shield is dead. Let the shield fucking die. He's like, the X Pac of the Shield. Speaking of which, where's Ambrose? Uh he's still he's injured. Still yeah, he's still injured. Yeah. 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 Holy crap. Yeah, he's the X Pac of the Shield, but he's being pushed like the Triple H of the Shield. Like that's why that's why the disconnect is happening. Yeah, yeah. Like he's still cosplaying as the Shield. He dresses up like the Shield more than Jen Carlin does, and that's a lot. Well, he does look good in the chest protector. <laughs> he he so, stopped wearing it the past couple of weeks, which so, I'm looked great with just of. a t-shirt on last yeah. night. Yeah, he should just yeah, wear a shirt. Yeah. Gotta you gotta you know promote that merch. Maybe he's not worried about getting shot anymore. I yeah. don't know. There was a hired hit out well, there. Apparently. <laughs> Uh, he may want to bring it back for the Saudi Arabia show. <laughs> He's probably over like crazy over there. Yeah, I, I would not be probably. surprised to see the Shield come back for that Saudi Arabia show. Now that you just just like they, they they end up in the Royal the, Bat, or the Royal Rumble together, yeah, or, or or something to that effect. Well, I guess if Rollins wasn't injured, but uh, or Am- I mean, I'm Ambrose, sorry, Ambrose, yeah. Ambrose. So uh, entrance music. What do you, oh, who do you think geez. he needs an update? I don't know. To be honest with you, this sounds terrible to say. Um, the people that I think that would, I think it's because I haven't heard their entrance music in a while. That's probably not a good sign. Um, That's I, fair. Yeah. Like Natalia's, I always like the, Neep, and then I always forget anything after it. Mm-hmm. It should just be a song of just those, that you know, the Bret Hart. It should just I, be the Bret theme. <laughs> not, yeah. not the weird alt uh, Bret Hart theme. Yeah. I wish she would stop doing the Bret Hart gimmick. Mm-hmm. It's... I would like to see her stand on her own. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for a bit, she was doing the cat she's dominatrix, still dominatrix thing. She's still doing that, but she's just doing that with the crazy it Bret Hart be, stuff mixed in with again, it. Again, she's been around too long doing the same thing, and she's kind of locked into it. Can we have Natty's theme music be the Bret Hart theme, but entirely done by cats? Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, I can see this. No, I can see this completely happening. That'd be alright. Or, or she can come out to Meow Canada. I was like, can we just have Team Storm do that? Yeah. Sorry, local reference. Anyways. Uh, well, we have so, oh god, we have so many. They can the cross from it with super troopers too. <laughs> they could, they could. We have we have a lot of chat room uh, recommendations here as well. I want to get to them in a moment, but first I want to give a shout out to our friends at occupyprowrestling.com. Hey guys, it's wild and crazy out there with pro wrestling, and sometimes we like to incorporate cats. Uh, but power to the smarks on the Twitter. Occupy Pro Wrestling is here to look at what makes it fun. Featuring articles, blogs, and podcasts that bring you interviews of fellow fans, Occupy Pro Wrestling is putting the smart into smart mark. Smart back into smart mark. Yes. Did those wrong. Check it out at OccupyProWrestling.com. And uh, I'll have to check. And maybe Alex is in the chat room to uh, uh, let me know. But uh, is are they doing a live vlog of the Greatest Royal Rumble? Because I know they've been doing that for a lot of the pay-per-views. And uh, I know that's been a, a big thing that people have been really digging and growing over there. So please check them out. They've been supporting this show for a while. So we're making sure we're supporting them back. OccupyProWrestling.com. A great partner here in, uh, in, in, in wrestling on the internet. Yeah, that's and right. If anybody, if anybody has any questions about Chikara, Alex Carr oh, is the geez. main. Chikara and 15 is such a fun podcast. Uh, Mm -hmm. so go, go check out their, uh, back episodes there as well. Uh, so yeah, we had a lot of feedback on this big question in the, in the chat room. Uh, let me just kind of roll through it here real quick. Uh, you know, Bobby also saying, you know, Dolph needs to lose the record scratch. Yeah. It's annoying as hell. Robert says, uh, Daniel Bryan needs the new theme music. I've always hated flight of the Valkyries Valkyries for him. Right. No. He had no, a whole you're, big you're, thing is big he had a whole big thing is why he used that in his book, but for the life of me, I can't remember the reason. Yeah, Was it he's a big before? fan of Wagner. Really? No. <laughs> Maybe. No, I, I doubt it. 
Yeah. I, I wish I wish we could just get get them to buy the final countdown. Mm. I know, right? Yeah, like, uh, because yeah. Uh, let's be honest, he probably he doesn't have left long left on his contract. Yeah. So it is kind of the final countdown. But then it's just you know, you're never going to hear it again after that because they're never going to pay for it long enough like they do um you know, every time it, they've like used Metallica color. or or Limp Bizkit. is a Living Color dubbed over now. Well, well, they did that for CM Punk. Yeah, they, they did. Did they, they dub it over though? They, I, I don't know. Um, like, I I feel like it was. I mean, long... it's, it's a lot. It's a lot cheaper to. It's probably a lot cheaper to go to, to pay in uh, Living Color than it is to pay. Uh, considering, Europe? Considering, I don't think Europe. so. Yeah. I don't know. I don't considering, considering, so. considering Living Color um, did a parking lot free show. Um, over here in Allentown, I, I, I don't think it was probably terribly much to do that. Uh, yeah. So, um, anyways, back to the chat room. Uh, let's see. Zach Ryder needs to retire. And that's not the big question. Uh, Shelton does not need a new theme. He needs his old one back. Bobby has a good one. <laughs> What's that one? TJ Perkins needs a new theme. TJ Perkins? Perkins just needs to don't. Yeah, uh, he's got that bring up eight bit uh, video Perkins. game. No, I like it. It's just weird that he's been like as like a bad guy. You know, it, it was it was kind of cool, but he, need, he needs like um like the evil like the evil Mega Man robot music. Yeah, yeah, like, like it, Dr. Wily's that music. needs to be switched be up good. a little bit, right? Shane, like, Mc... you can just you can just do a remix of his of yeah. his current theme song. Robert McNeil, you know, he kind of like the Callisto stuff when it got all video game and and dubstepy or something um robert also says shane mcmahon needs a new music song it's so out of date he's um, not around enough to justin matter. says randy orton needs a new theme uh, i think it fits him randy orton randy? needs his old theme back <laughs> what's his old one um the, the burn hey. in my light hey, nothing you can say yeah. like that one yeah okay i love that theme song was that also an ultra bridge joint uh no that was mercy drive like, i feel like yeah, it was I mercy. Feel, it was mercy drive. i feel like everybody around that era like the edge song <laughs> and that is like the same band uh in general but uh what's going on over there i made tina mad i think what's that <laughs> tina said joan jett is a classic shut your mouth larry <laughs> <laughs> oh tina tell me about this time you call the 80s <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Oh, that's why. Yes, we have the young. I don't know who Joe Jett is. Um, <laughs> there's one I don't want to say out loud that I cannot stand. Hmm. Well, well, now you've let us yeah, into it, so you kind of have, have to. You have to say it. I hate Seth Rollins' music. I agree. Oh, okay. No, someone else in the chat. Room. I agree. No, Dude, someone else in the chat room said that too. I love, I love the fact that they added the "burn it down" part, but there's still that dead air like during his end during the entrance and i'm like i think they covered it it's it's still there yeah with burn it down and then there's yeah. still the there's still a dead spot somewhere in there i i like, just hate that the um the all the graphics all the fuzz that they use for his his entrance graphics messes with everywhere i watch it yeah. because of the compression of internet or cable and it's mm. just like this doesn't look good to anybody except you're in, in the arena yeah. i don't think anybody realizes that because they're not watching it on the way we watch it, and, right? And sorry, and sorry for the chat who had it on there. Um, um, I just, I just wanted to point that out just in case I. Yeah, uh, Bobby says on music. We were touching on this earlier uh, at NXT in Johnstown this past weekend uh, that he attended. Johnny Gargano's theme hit then stopped and cut the Champa's logo with no music. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that's awesome! <laughs> and probably proceed. Probably, probably then you know. Um, uh, Followed by uh, uh, the fuck you, Chompas. Um, Tina's calling out Lana, Tamina, in addition to what we already said with Randy and uh, Seth Rollins. Lana, yeah, Lana, Lana's as well. Oh, with the, 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 with the saxophone. Yeah, saxophone. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the knockoff Oksana music. Yeah, yeah, mm. and and Tamina is still like the the yeah yeah. Wow, that was a good one. I, wow, I thought you just played it off of iTunes. No, that was me. That, that, was, that was just that was great, Riz. That was me. I also, you know how I know. Are you that guy? You know how I know that's movie? the song. How do you know, Riz? It's, it, it's put up on the screen as ta me na all the way <laughs> along <through>. with it. <laughs> like, it's a sing along. Like, the, 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 barely the it is. is like, There's those little balls. <laughs> like it's just it's like 
just right there. No, no video, nothing. In case you didn't know her name, uh, JD saying Emojo Raleigh. Current theme sounds like he ripped it from Total Divas. <laughs> Aww. 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 Orton, Orton and Corbin should go back to their old themes. Uh, there's that thing about Joan Jett and TJ Perkins. Not really hated, by the way. Uh, wow, this th- there was a lot of stuff in here. Under- I don't dislike uh, Nia Jax, by the way. Uh, yeah, but somebody ruined that song for me recently. Uh, you know how there's that one verse, "I'm not a monster." Um, uh-huh. He kept go singing in my ear every time it was playing. I'm not a lobster, and now that's all I hear anytime <laughs> that song plays. And now the rest of us will too. <laughs> Sorry, this is this is like when there was the Seamus music, and we and we thought it was Lobster Head. Uh, you know, oh, the shameful thing. Lobster. thing you lobster head. <laughs> Too many limes. Or... Yeah. Too many limes. Too many <laughs> limes. By the way, he's kind of a friend of the show now since he likes us. Really yes, he much. does. He does like our tweets a bit, and we did make. Yeah, a... Seamus. Seamus's theme song is the "Hold Me Closer" Tony Danza of WWE. <laughs> <laughs> that Carla says, "Undisputed Era's music is terrible, but I'm always humming it to myself. Those are the worst." He was mm-hmm. he was doing it a lot in New Orleans. <laughs> What a lot. Like, like between that and Ember Moon's theme song, we could not get those fucking songs out of our head. Yeah, yeah you were humming it in the video. Um, Drew, Drew McIntyre to have his old theme back. Um, like, oh, wow. No way, Jose. A long entrance. No way who, Jose needs a new theme and gimmick. No, I like the second no, coming of Rose Buds. I, and you look at it. We talked about that the wrap up last night. You start. You look at the conga line with No Way Jose. The next Braun Strowman and Elias are going to be coming out of that because and that's Alexa what we Lewis. got out of the Rosebud. And, and James Alexa Ellsworth. Lewis. And James Ellsworth. So, next James I mean, Ellsworth. It's is a roller coaster, really. Uh, <laughs> you you yeah. leave No Way Jose out of this. That's right. No Way Jose is a fine. fine I'm not a fan of Naomi's music, but that's just because I don't like that type of music. I love if, her new. If song. No Way Jose is in the Greatest Royal Rumble, it's going to look really weird having an all male party line. <laughs> it's going to look really weird. <laughs> I blast Naomi's theme in my car, and then I start to speed, and then I think I'm going to like you know, I don't know, knock over some strippers and get some blow or something. But that's. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do you, fl- do you flash like your brights when you when you play her theme song too? Um, only in the daylight, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That's like I'm running from a club. I've really made some bad decisions in uh, kind of music, so I really enjoy her theme. <laughs> it just takes you back. It does a little bit. Uh, JD says Riot Squad simply because it's not memorable. Yeah, there's a lot of those. Just like um, just we we pulled this off of the freemium shelf you know uh the royalty free shelf like which was the hardy like, boys music to be cast. honest you know yeah. but, so you never yeah, know if you watch a lot of old like uh tv on like spike tv the, <laughs> hardy, Bo- a lot. the hardy boys entrance theme is just used in commercials yeah yeah so i mean it's and like, like what big cast is now <laughs> is it now Ooh. oh oh boy he so. had a really good promo on smackdown today. it was very good yeah, that's what I, I, I keep seeing. You can't so. teach that. The you Miz? That. The Miz? I, no. No, Miz no. doesn't need a new I think Miz music. is great. No. And also that Mickey he's, James. That he's, <laughs> yes. Mickey James needs a, ch- needs a Mickey, change. Yes. Mickey James just needs to come out to Hardcore Country. She needs a, so- <laughs> she needs a software update. <laughs> That's terrible. Mickey, Mickey James is still rebooting from when she got hit by a fucking train. This is true. Yeah, this yeah. is true. The, the, we, the, and survived. At least yeah. you. At least and survived. survived. <laughs> a head-on collision with a train. Oh, she should come out the head-on collision. <laughs> oh, guys, guys. By the way, uh, Bobby tweeted out um, the theme song for the Greatest Royal Rumble. Oh no! Oh no! It's made oh, by Godsmack. God it's what? <laughs> What? Godsmack. It's really? God. Is it really? Oh, there's a lot of irony there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No, it's hold Godsmack. On, on. Are they called Allah Smack in Saudi Arabia? Oh, that's, <laughs> oh. No. No. that's not no. right. I don't know what's going to be more offensive. What actually happens on Friday, or what we think is going to happen on Friday? But uh, oh, I, uh, I think all joking aside, I am curious what they're going to do when they get called to the mosque like midday you know for like your midday prayers and stuff mm. oh 
Yeah, how does that work? Intermission. I there yeah. there might be there, there might be like an weirdly intermission. long intermissions. Yeah, because you know? if that's like right, right in the that, middle is, of the world, is that where walk. Godsmack plays? And all. <laughs> <laughs> And I mean, you gotta fill the time somehow show. for the rest of us. An already ten hour show needs an intermission, you guys. Of course it does. Oh my god. Oh fuck. All right, let's move on. Hey guys, IndieWrestling.us. There's a lot of great stuff going on there, including Laura Loveless is featured over there. A lot of her matches with uh, what RWA Rise Wrestling. By uh, WA. RWA. Oh, there you go. RWA. Okay. Renegade Wrestling Alliance. Yes, I've been there. Been OCW uh, Rise with mm-hmm. a Y. Yes. Yeah. Um, We're going to be very confused next month when they're like the week after each other. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Tell me about it. Somebody was asking me. I went to um, um, when ICP was in a, a couple months ago. And, and uh, somebody was like, you're going to the Rise show? And I was like, yeah, I, I don't think. I was like, oh, yeah, I got people working. Where, where, you know, I might be out of town or something. Da, 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 da. And then, and then I realized he was talking about the Rise Women Show, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, well, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Gonna no, that happened this. to me. That happened to me today, uh, this week. Like somebody just came up and went, "Are you going to the Rise Show?" I'm like, it took me a minute to realize that it's there's two rises. I'm like, what? It, <laughs> <and> <laughs> I love. I hope you you visually made that face. I'm like what? Whoa. Whoa. That's like when I found out there were two Captain Marvels. Ooh. Ooh. And they both have movies very soon. Um <laughs> But no, uh but yeah, Rise Wrestling is making a lot of headway uh lately with a Y. And uh and also you can check out a lot of the wares over on the Twitch channel, so Indie Wrestling US uh Twitch channel. You know, of course see that in the wrestling category right next to AAA and Impact Wrestling over there. Um, geez, I, I wonder what's playing right now, actually, uh, because I know we've been doing a lot of streams, usually starting around noon through the evening. Uh, right now, it looks like uh, we have some IWC playing. Oh, there's a, a DJ Z and Gory from a recent show. A killer, a killer match. My video mm-hmm. guys came out, came to me after intermission and says, I'm sweaty from that match, yeah. uh, from trying to follow that um, at ringside. Man, Mike, you would like that match. Mm-hmm. I'm sure I would. I'm sure I would. Mm-hmm. Air, Airhorn was oh, and, a part uh, of the match. We need to uh, give a mayhem bump. Uh, our buddy Facade is going to be an ROH. Yes, yes. The, the TV taping was just here uh, a couple weekends ago. Yeah. Uh, were you, you were there for that? I was actually on TV. Yeah. Ooh. Nice. Not in a match. Not in a match. I was the, their female presence necessary on the table next to the announcers. And I got to look very, very terrified when Shane Taylor grabbed a mic and moved everybody's stuff so i was the scared white woman at the table (laughs) (laughs) is that your official imdb credit now i hope so i got to stay there for half of the show and it was really amazing because especially what was the one match that just shit went crazy oh okay so um there's these guys who went into the crowd and started ripping up all the chairs that we had zip tied together and they did not realize they were zip tied and like five chairs came in a chain. It was like a wave. Yes. Oh. It was so great. <laughs> and I looked at him like all of our work. <laughs> <laughs> and the fans freaked out because they didn't want to get hit with like, you know, a, a whip of chairs. Of chairs. <laughs> <laughs> a giant snake of chairs Chair. coming at you. That was insane. Uh, was explaining that to the hospital, but the no, insurance company. A lot of really awesome Pittsburgh talent were on that show. That's awesome. Uh, Chris uh, Luso got to open with uh, Colin Delaney. Nice. Yes, they did. Nice. They got to open the show. It was a hell of a match. Um, Shane Taylor was on the show. He just beat the shit out of everybody and everything. He's been. He, that's pretty much been his thing lately. Yeah, you know what? But man. He just really brought it to the next the next level on that. I, wow. I yeah, that was insane too. But yeah, it was a great show to be a part of. And of course, Nick Lendl part of that on the announcing side. Facade uh, had a match there as well. Facade, he did great. Joe uh, Dabrowski, I know, doing some work with them yes. here and in Columbus. Uh, so yeah, it, it's it, it's pretty cool. I, again, you know, we talk about it, uh, uh, it seems every week about the Pittsburgh representation on even just Monday Night Raw, right? These days. 
uh, with at least three people, you know, for some just down the road. Um, and, uh, and, and seeing that in Ring of Honor and just seeing that still continue to grow is really, really cool. And I know every time I go there, oh, of course, Night of Superstars is happening up in Meadville, so we didn't get to attend the Ring of Honor show, and it looked like it was amazing again. Um, and well attended and sold out, despite the fact that there's Rey Mysterio and Rikishi and and um, and Mark Henry, you know, a, an hour and a half away. Right. And we they still packed, you know, Stage AE for you know the second or third tier wrestling company in town, right, or in in the country, you know, depending on how you how you rate that, you know, and that's that's really cool to see. Like that's that strong these days, you know. So it's awesome. Uh, so those will be coming out in, I guess that's the f- next few weeks. Yes, I probably. think it should be coming out either this week or next. So, and if you don't, uh, can't find it on your local listings, don't have cable, don't have an antenna, I guess, um, you can watch those episodes for free over on Fight TV. I believe so. Um, I think they're still doing that over there. So, um, so it, you don't have much excuse to miss it. And I think they also have them maybe like later in the week on ROHwrestling.com as well. Yes. So uh, there's a lot of opportunity there. And you can still watch the um, Jay Lethal uh, uh, knee brace commercial. <laughs> it's still included <laughs> in that. Just you know, so you get the full experience for that. Uh, so, but no, really, really awesome. Um, cool. IndieWrestling.us, ROH Wrestling, and Laura Levis on the Twitter as well. What's your What's your tweets? I think it's just at the real Laura Levis. There you go. Yep. Awesome. Uh, so, guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Did I catch you guys off guard? Hmm. The deep question. I just ask it every week to end the show. Oh. <laughs> and every week we don't know what the hell to talk about, Swerve. Yeah, come on, Riz. Come oh, back to me, Swerve. I learned Big Cass can talk. Yeah? Well, he has to do some more heavy lifting now, doesn't he? Yeah. They feel you like have to teach that, though. He does not have to teach that. You no, know. you have to oh, teach no, You that. have to teach that now. Mm-hmm. He took promo class. That yeah. seemed natural, though. That wasn't yeah. like he was. That didn't seem like he was reading it off a piece of paper. Like most of the promos are done on Raw and SmackDown nowadays. Related, I've learned in the last couple of weeks that Kurt Angle <laughs> is like refound his zone in because it, it just everything in the past year with him as GM has felt very stilted to me. Right, like he seemed very lost in front of a camera, and, and something since WrestleMania, like I feel like the flip has switched. The switch has flipped. Damn it. Hey, the flip and go. switch too, Sork. Sure. Um, is that kid still a son anymore or is that done? Uh, well, he got he's, injured, he's so injured he right now, yeah, but yeah, yeah. So he'll be just... his son when he comes back. Okay. <laughs> you, oh, I, I think it? they're just replacing him with Chad Gable. <laughs> they hope they are. They're just <laughs> correcting it. Like, oh, actually, you know. We got the test mixed up. Jason Jordan is really Daniel Bryan's son. They shouldn't even <laughs> mention it. They should not even acknowledge it. It should no. just be like every three or four months, just a different person comes in to be Kurt Angle's son. <laughs> I think that'd be awesome. <laughs> this is good. Just this like is going to be just. Horn swoggle, man. It, yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. We're going to bring Hornswoggle back. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, but no, no, right. but seriously, it has been like fun and and really kind of flowing on the show. Like his uh, job interview in a lawn chair uh, with the uh, Kevin Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn last night was fun. You know, uh, his his uh, uh, stuff with Miz was great last week. You know, just different. As I watched Honky Tonk Man and Zubaz come out on the live stream, interesting. <laughs> Anyways, but no. Uh, what about you, Riz? Wow, Sork. Mad Mike. Um, All right. So, at, oh, Riz, go ahead. I, I do have one. Uh, I just finished the uh, the Andre documentary. Mm-hmm. It's pretty good. That was very. I, good. I learned um, that Ric Flair knows a lot about the size of Andre's ring. Mm-hmm. Which, yep. And Which you, you know what that means. <laughs> he had large gloves too. Exactly. That was like his yeah. only contribution to that documentary. That was the only thing he said. Yeah, that was the only thing. You he know said what? That was probably that. the most appropriate thing that you could air that from. Was, Rick it probably Flair. was. It probably was. But the thing is, they probably had a four-hour was, interview. Yeah. The, the weird part was. The weird part was that was before the weird segment 
should have taken place. Like it, it, it looked like Ric Flair was just talking about it. And then all of a sudden it's like, like the, the, the next thing, it wasn't even the, the segment four. it was the next segment. That's when they started talking about his areas. And I'm looking at, I'm, I'm watching this. I'm like, he just said, well, no. I, I just picture him, Ric Flair, just once the camera rolls, just going, I'm going to talk about his dick. And that's it. Like, <laughs> that was his thought they, process that, the entire that time. Would, they, brought, they had that one because, like, just before that, they were talking about uh, the, like, women's reactions to Andre as yeah. opposed to, like, yeah, men were always intimidated around him, whereas, like, women, like, were always flocking to him. And like that and was, that the, was last, the last that was that was the last bit of that whole segment was yeah it was the, it was it was the it was just the the, the period on the end that of was it. like and we need to change topics right yeah, now. yeah let's yeah. go into WrestleMania three uh, yeah, thanks Rick not, moving not, on <laughs> jeez legend what about you Mad Mike I, I hope I hope I hope if that DVD comes out they can, just released by the way on, still on donate to my uh, you know running thing what a weird place to put that sorry Mad Mike. Exactly. That's what she said. Nah. I, 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 this is what I learned. But I hope when they come out with the DVD for the Andre thing, all the special features are just like all the unedited interviews. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> it's just like, now, now, Rick, are you going to talk some, about something other than Andre's penis? Woo! Dick. No, I'm not, Daddy. Like, <laughs> Wait, was that dusty? Yeah, really. Who was yeah, that? It's, it's, there, it's Rick Flair drunk. I assume he slips into dusty that, roads as well. That was that was pre. Uh, Rick Flair drunk Rick, is Rick Flair normal. That, that, that was yeah, pre- it's, the, it's the Rick Flair you know. Is Rick, that the Rick right. Flair constant? Rick Flair sober sounds like dusty. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I, I learned I learned two things this week. Um, I, I learned that Sammy Zayn and Kevin Owens, um followed my uh, coverage with mainstream Matt over WrestleMania weekend and decided to rip off our entire gimmick. Oh, Oh, it's, it, it's just, it, you know, it's just a fact of life. It's, it's okay. Uh, Matt was wondering when we were going to get our royalty checks and I said 10 yards. So that's, <laughs> that's, yeah, there were a lot of accents. Um, I, I, I need to do one more run through uh, of cleaning up on the, uh, WrestleMania weekend travel blog for you guys, which uh, right now is at a runtime of about 12 minutes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> by the way, yes. uh, uh, Larry actually got to do the watch, the first watch through with me last Bless night. You. Uh, so there, there's, there's, uh, oh no, he's he's gone, Wait. he's gone. I was gonna get Bless some you. feedback, but never mind. He's still losing his face. It was um, good. Fun. It was good. <laughs> he's, and there he goes again. Um, <laughs> did we leave a cat in here or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Something. Something. Probably. Um, and, and and I also learned that the <laughs> real reason that Charlotte lost her title was because New Orleans has incredible quinoa. Mm-hmm. Because Becky quinoa. Lynch, Becky Lynch was going to save Charlotte, but she was too busy eating quinoa. Quinoa. See, yes. you said quinoa, not couscous. Just to, yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no. Yeah. fuck couscous. Yeah, fuck thank you, fuck thank you, couscous. thank you. Yeah. You hip, quinoa. You hippies can keep your quinoa. Hashtag super food. Thank you. Quinoa. Yes. Absolutely. Completely agree. I mean, it's still kale, but it's, you know. Hey, 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 oh. hey. You could put <laughs> kale right, in quinoa. Put kale into this, all right? You could put quinoa in We're kale. We're just sticking to quinoa. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, Laura Levis, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Um, I don't take title loss as well. Mm. And thank God I'd never be wrestling in Saudi Arabia anyway because I can't drink. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of drinking pictures after that. There was like three. No, there's four. Okay. There was four. <laughs> but in one of them my glass is empty and you could see the anguish on my face. Mm-hmm. So I hate when that happens. You know? Yeah, yeah. It was it was very People relatable, have... you know. So sitting in some no name bar and you know, God knows where Ohio drinking and then I don't have any more alcohol. Which is basically anywhere Ohio. Kind of yeah. wrestling yeah. Arquette family just collects championships though. Yeah, I know, oh. right? Wrestling Arquette family. You know you know what might help you get your title back? Some D V P yoga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what though? Or uh, some quinoa. Uh that too. <laughs> There you go. You know, I love Patricia Arquette, though, so I'll let it go. She's my favorite. Although, you should just yell, Patricia's the better Arquette at her next time. (laughs) I sort okay, I didn't mean to do this. I I tweeted out after 
like five hours of driving and no sleep, I noticed that David Arquette had congratulated Katie. Yeah. And I responded to the both, which was a really dumb idea. And I, I said that, uh, you know, yeah, enjoy your title. Patricia was always my favorite Arquette anyway. At least she got to work. I said at least she got to work with David Lynch. <laughs> and that was really in bad taste. And I didn't remove it, though, because I didn't want to, like. No, that's appropriate. You should leave that. I did leave it. I, I bet he looked at it. He's just like. Who is this person? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> but in the off chance of Patricia ever seeing that, you know, if you ever want to work together on any kind of project, <laughs> I am totally okay with Maybe that. Maybe be in a corner of a wrestling ring against oh a uh, relationship. Oh man, it'd be like the it'd be like the ninety six Survivor Series, like an Arquette in every corner. <laughs> Oh, with my yeah. luck, I'd get stuck with Daphne, but you know what? I'd still take it. She's very entertaining. I am not educated on the Arquette family, apparently. <laughs> you're, 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 this just, is not your era. I just know Does the Courtney one that Cox sounds Cox like Cat Batman. Still count? What? <laughs> is that Courtney not him? Cox still count? Batman? Are you thinking Affleck? No, the Lego Batman. <laughs> Lego Batman. Who's Lego Batman? Oh, that's the guy. That, that's, that's Will. Arnett. That's oh, Arnett. Okay. That's okay. Arnett. I don't know any of them. That's I don't Will know any of them. That's Will Arnett, See, not, I don't, not, I don't not But know close to wrestling, because Will Arnett was in the Ninja Turtles movie with Seamus. Uh, too many sorry. limes. Too, too many, many limes. limes. Oh, yeah. But not Him. enough quinoa. From the chat room, Ooh, Robert that. learned that Drew doing an Alabama <laughs> slam is amazing because he's tall. Um, <laughs> Keenan learned that seeing uh, four, 450 from Matt Cross live is pretty. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, da, 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 going through here, uh, Wheels learned that he loves Sean Phoenix live fire blast. He's gonna burn down the West Newton Gymnasium, guys. <laughs> well, though I like he's not coming out with the torch anymore. He just got like a lighter and spits. Like that's it. So yeah, because that's better. What, uh, Spraying uh, flammable uh, kerosene. Did something very similar <laughs> all over the ring. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's great. Oh no, it's a way. That. Yeah. You know what? That crowd really, really appreciates that. Oh, I'm sure the crowd. Yeah. Does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, 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 they blew up pretty good when that happened. I bet at least one person walked up. Can you do that in my face? <laughs> 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 oh yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I, love that. I love that insane crowd. Uh, Bobby learned. Bobby Jantown learned that uh, NXT in Johnstown. That EC3 is correct in calling Johnstown a dump. I hope Lacey Evans is okay after a pos- possible knee injury, but she cost me from capturing Kira Sane's elbow drop on slow mo video. And Alistair, this is very detailed. And Alistair Black and Ricochet. Versus Andrade and Velveteen Dream is a great way to end a show. So his learned was his review of an NXT in Johnstown. Um, I, I remember when I saw them at the Armory in Florida uh, last month, EC3 called it the wrong town. And then halfway through the match, when he was just kind of like starting to heal out on everybody, he's just like, I called you the wrong town on purpose. <laughs> like, you know, three minutes later, he just called back to it, you know. Like, like he like maybe Kasha Sono just told him in the match. So... Uh, but that was pretty amazing, which I think was his first official match in NXT, too, that I got to witness. So, uh, Alex Miller learned that if you go to Hood Slam, be ready to get high <laughs> with Paul London. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I think that is an asterisk whenever Paul London is on a show. He's the nicest human oh, being he's I've amazing. ever met. He is. He really is. He I've great. never met a pothead I didn't like. <laughs> really? They're well, all, he's they're like, all nice. He's a I've very high a, functioning one, then. He is. He is. Because he gave a great seminar. I couldn't tell yeah. if he yeah. was. Yeah. I dare say Paul London is the Kevin Smith of pro wrestling. I love the fact that oh. that's, that's the shot. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, yeah, the feed died on the TV feedback on with her like. Eh. Um, <laughs> Quinoa is the greatest. <laughs> Dave Potter, uh, let's all let's all just get high and talk about quinoa. Dave Potter, <laughs> I don't it, see what the big deal is about subtitle. quinoa. It's not doing anything. Well, let's for not Becky get Lynch. back to the quinoa. Dave Potter learned that if your wife delivers you, can go topless and lay in the bed. Thank you, Rock. What? what? No, no. Oh, Rock no, had a kid. Rock, and, and, yeah. Rock had a kid, and for some reason, oh, yeah. he had no shirt, shirt on. on. Yeah, yeah, because he's the Rock and he can do that. He was breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> he can do everything. It definitely made it look like The Rock was the one who gave birth. <laughs> I'm pretty right? sure, Why does he get a bed? I'm pretty sure hey. it's a new movie coming to hey. you fall 2019. 
you know what the rock said after that right no it's a girl uh, yeah. you're welcome <laughs> Of course he did. Um, Bobby also learned that Enzo and Cass reboot is working well on Raw with Dolph Lundgren and Drew. Uh, yeah, Dolph Lundgren? Dolph Lundgren? I wish it was Dolph Lundgren and Drew McIntyre. I'm tired. Uh, no, I'm not, <laughs> reading the, I'm not reading the Ken Walk comment. Robert learned that Ziggler and Drew, yeah, do, <laughs> Ziggler and Drew are dudes with attitudes 2.0. JD <laughs> uh, learned that Brock Lesnar apparently has uh, probably more leverage in the contract room than any pro wrestler ever, probably more than The Rock even. Uh, well, I don't know about that. And I don't think The Rock does no, contracts. I, it kind of sounds like he does. And Justin learned about the boob flex this weekend. And, and oh, Dave, yay. I'll say it. Dave, Dave had some really good quinoa with pineapple. In it. Okay, <laughs> no, yeah, I said it. I said no. it. No, I so said those it. Those things, one, those two things don't go together. I, and I, two, no, those you're, two things do not go together. You're I thinking argue. pineapples and pizza. Yeah, quinoa Same and pineapple thing. sounds delicious. You know what quinoa is great for? Betting for Throwing hamsters. Garbage. On that note, thank you everybody for joining the show. Please check out our sponsors, Slice on Broadway, IndieWrestling.us. If you want to advertise with the show, hit us up at info at sorgatronmedia.com. And uh, thank you, Laura Levis, for joining this. I don't know if you knew what you were getting into tonight. No. <laughs> but thank you. Thank you for coming out and uh, uh, being part of the show. Thank you for having me anytime. Awesome. A- anywhere immediately you're going to be popping up in the next couple of weeks? Oh, gosh. Uh, I'll be at Rise May 5th. With a Y. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And I might actually be there as well. So uh, for once in the last couple months. So awesome. uh, that's the only wrestling show I think I'm making all month. <laughs> but anyways. Uh, and of course, thank you, Larry. Uh, executive interim executive no, producer. I'll, Larry. I'll, I'll be downstairs job hunting us. OK, I, are you done with I this? I can't handle okay. this bullshit. We should we just have like we need to bring Missy back. Uh, OK. There you go. Is she still back there? Thank hey, God. There she is. Also, yeah, I retire. Now? I retire. Mad Mike. Producing. Riz, thank you for joining us from wherever in the world you guys are this week. You're welcome. Uh, and thank you for everybody who donated. I do Absolutely. appreciate you guys. Please do that. Please. Oh, um, Bobby. Bobby said we forgot to mention Bruno. Oh, yeah. Oh. Shit. Totally forgot. We talked um, about him yesterday. We did, yeah, we did a little bit on the wrap oh, okay, up last okay, night. Okay. Yeah, we, um, we talked, we talked about a yeah, the, really good the piece they did last they did. night. Um, I, I was tweeting yesterday, like it's a, it, it's a, you know, kind of a weird thing because here in Pittsburgh, you feel like he's, he, like a little part of you feels like he's immortal and he's always going to just kind of pop up around town, right? And it's kind of weird to me to like know that kind of presence is gone, you know, mm-hmm. more than hey, we lost a legend, we lost a, you know, this you know, sports figure or something like that, but. You know, and it really got into. Uh, I started watching the Bruno. Uh, I definitely recommend if you don't know his story. It's like this guy literally went face to face with the Nazis as a kid. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And was this close to being to being killed? You know, it, I haven't. I haven't stopped watching the collection ver- the collections on oh, WWE Network. Yeah. Like the uh, the match between him and Killer Kowalski was really fucking great. Mm-hmm. Watch. I'm really glad he he was able to mend fences with WWE. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that so that he could have a like kind of so they could honor him properly. There's a part in the documentary that I did get to from Hall of Fame night where they had apparently recently found his original WWWF championship belt. Mm-hmm. And wow. like they had just recently come across it and had that happening. So it was kind of an interesting like, you know, have it for a reason kind of thing. And so there, if you're looking for a more in-depth, unedited version of what that documentary is, because that makes the WWE look really good, mm-hmm. um, he has a podcast with Jericho that Jericho just re-released on uh, Talk Is Jericho mm-hmm. that like talks about all that stuff, including like all the bad blood with WWE and all that mm-hmm. stuff. And I'm too. sure they'll be servicing. There's been some really good um, local documentaries that have been done about him yeah. as well, too. Um, there's actually one that I think Katie K ran. Uh, Matt would probably have more information on this. Um, that was basically about his mom, you know, helping to get them out of Nazi occupied Italy. So uh, he will be missed. Um, it's definitely, the, you know, I would say one of the greatest losses in professional wrestling, definitely here in the area, but kind of in general, you know, because he's kind of 
he was a living legend, man. And I just felt like he was here forever. So, uh, but uh, but no, good, but good, uh, good, good looks by WWE honoring that as well. So, hey, that's what the network's for. You know, if you don't know the deal, you can go, you can go uh, uh, be a new fan of Bruno, and it's all there for you. So, thank you, everybody. Thank you in the chat room, everybody joining us. We'll be back here next Tuesday uh, with guests. Uh, da, 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 da. Who is lined up for next week? That would be <laughs> our friends from Max Out will be joining us. They're going to be at the Millville Music Festival, and uh, they 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 they're the ones that we did that video with Virgil with for kayfabe, um, and a lot of fun. If you ever <laughs> if you've never seen Virgil drumming, oh my! Well, you're not exactly going to see it in this music video, but at least an attempt. Uh, it was a lot of fun and very interesting. And it'll be good to have Stosh on here with us uh, next week to chat wrestling as well. And, hey, support our friend uh, Chris Taylor. His band Shattered, also going to be on the music festival. But I believe next Tuesday we'll be uh, down here in the area opening for Power Man 5000. Oh, that's cool. So wow. go go check that out if you're in the Pittsburgh area. I know they're really excited about it. I'm trying to see if we can schedule some stuff with him uh this weekend maybe play video games or something uh so uh uh go support um indie rock <laughs> in indie wrestlers in indie independent rock so uh thank you everybody we'll see you next time mayhem out This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.